Hi, I'm Rob Dana, and today I'm going to show you how to put on a harmonic balancer on a small block Chevy the proper way, and uh, this is how I do it. Got a nice harmonic balancer here. I like to put a little bit of grease right here around this surface for the rubber seal so it's not dry. And then I'll put a little bit of grease on the inside because this is a press fit onto the crankshaft. Like that. Okay, now we're going to put the harmonic balancer on the crank and line it up with the, the dowel pin. Like that. And then there's a special tool that you use to uh, install it. And uh, you can purchase one of these at uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone. And uh, this one's pretty slick because it does uh, big block Chevy on one end and uh, small block Chevy on the other. So it'll do either one. So for this particular one, we're going to use the small end because the small block Chevy's uh, 7 16 thread SAE. So we're going to screw this all the way in until it stops. And about right there should be good. Then we'll turn this nut in right here against the bearing. And uh, get a big wrench. This is my uh, equalizer right here. Okay, uh, you want to make sure you get your wrench on tight. And then uh, you got another wrench here to hold it so you can tighten it up. And just run that thing in. And it'll press your uh, harmonic balancer in. And this is how you do it so you don't damage the thread. Some guys try to just run it in with uh, a ratchet, the regular bolt that holds it in. And that's not the right way to do it. You'll strip the threads out of the crank. And you just run this in all the way till it bottoms out. You can see it's moving in. Okay, we're gonna, almost there. Okay, right there is where it bottoms out and it wants to, I can tell it's bottomed out against the threads, so we're going to stop right there, back it off. Yep, and it's right here, right along the edge of your timing mark. Okay, now the only thing we got left to do is put our nut in, our washer. I just happen to have the right wrench to tighten it up. Okay, there you go, and it's all installed now properly and uh, shouldn't have any leaks or anything like that or strip threads um, and you're ready to put your pulleys on and uh, go from there. So that's how we do it. 
if you have any questions or uh, want to give us any info, uh, feedback, go to the bottom of our page here, the video, and you can check out our webpage on Facebook.